This is Jacob Milligan with 9M Investments. And today I'm doing an investment case study. And we're doing a case study on what they call a structured note. And this was a case study based on a client that came over in October of 2022. So I'll give you a little bit of background. Uh, this uh, new client, uh, obviously in 22 markets were down quite a bit. Um, they came over and were looking really wanted to be out of the market. They were tired of losing money, scared to lose even more. Uh, we're worried that their losses were going to push back their ability to retire when they wanted to. And so really, you know, very scared about being in the market still. So what we were able to do was give them a growth note that gave them uh, the power to make sure there was no further losses um, and basically give them the ability to, to stay in the market and make sure that we don't miss any type of bounce as, as the markets do come back. So to walk through this note, um, kind of give you some ideas of how this was structured and then the outcomes uh, for my client. So this particular note was issued by Citibank. The underlying index, again, S&P 500, SPX. Uh, again, this was, again, focused on growth um, and, you know, the stock portfolio that she had already had um, and, and didn't want to lose any more. The protection on this particular note was 100%, so no loss. So if the S&P 500 um, went down 30 40%, again, we weren't going to lose anything um, if that did happen. The way this term, uh, note was termed was a five-year note, non-callable for one year. So one of the interesting things with this these, these types of notes is if you want to have protection, in this case, full protection, um, typically what you're giving up to get that protection is upside. So this upside partic uh, participation number here. And so typically, if you're going to get 100% protection, they're not going to give you one to one, it's going to be, you know, 70%, 80% uh, upside. And so, you know, depending on how you are and where you are in the market, you still may want to do that because again, for that protection is the biggest part of that. But in this case, um, we were able to get one-to-one -one participation. So even though we were protected 100% from downside loss, if the S&P 500 went up, we were still able to, to participate that and make sure we didn't, um, we get that full growth. On the callable side, the way that this particular one works is if it does get called at the one year point and what makes it get called is the s p 500 being up a year from now uh it would get called and then in that case we would get a call premium of 15.1 percent so this this note traded on 10 31 22 um the call date again was 10 31 23 um, and at that point, it did get called. So how did that work? Well, so from the initial trade date, a year later, uh, the S&P 500 was up, but it was up only 8.31%. So in this case, you know, when we look back and look at the protection por portion of this, turns out we didn't actually need the protection because the market was up 8.31%. Uh, but since it was up, the the note was on a, an auto call, so that means it was automatically going to get called. Um, and in this case, instead of this 8.31%, we were able to get 15.1%. And the big driver behind that was what was going on in the market in October of 22. Lots of volatility, and the volatility is what drives kind of the, the premium you're able to get when you take these out. So I'll give you an example today. Uh, the volatility is a little bit lower than it was then, and the call premiums are not 15%, they're closer to 10, 11%. So, but in this case, we were able to uh, beat what the markets did, which is fantastic. Uh, we were able, you know, for the client, able to give them the most important part of this for the full protection. So this really worked out both ways for the client. Again, they felt peace of mind knowing that they were 100% protected from downside loss. Um, and then in this case, we were able to actually beat the market by quite a bit 
uh, just based on the premium. And again, that was based on the volatility that was happening at that time in, in October of 22. So um, I hope this was helpful, kind of give you an idea of some of how these, these growth notes work. Uh, you know, please look at the, the blog post that goes in a little bit more detail. Uh, and if you have any questions, please reach out. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk soon.